no idea what this is and and it's it's cutting off what if i if i just it's going ahead look look at the boy <laughs> that's good enough for me it's good enough for y'all okay let's go <laughs> I even forgot to say hi guys. It's your girl, Nelly Lee, being authentic to me. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know why I'm whispering, but today I'm really excited because today I'm just gonna be attempting to do a New Year's look. I'm using the Fenty primer. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Voice over activating now. Okay guys, let's get started. So first I'm going to be setting my primer with the Too Faced Medium Setting Powder and then I'm going to, oh, sorry it's backwards, <laughs> going in with my Fenty Beauty Foundation in the shade 420 and blending that all in. Okay, so throughout this video you guys are going to see me dancing a lot because I just had on music and I was just jamming. But also I was just dancing because I'm excited for the new year. How are you guys feeling about this new year? Like comment down below, let me know. I know if you're like super, super excited like me or it's just like, eh, I don't know, you know, I'm a little apprehensive. Um, now I'm just going to go in with my LA Pro Girl Concealer in the shade Fawn and I'm going to um, do a sad attempt at an angle because I don't know what that was. Um, but I'm just going to complete my base and, you know, conceal all my different areas. You guys saw this already before. But um, I'm stepping into 2021, like honestly, respectfully, what's good? <laughs> I know that this year has been such a rough year for a lot lot of us and the one thing that I have learned is just how faithful God is and just how resilient that I am <laughs> um I think that I would definitely encourage you guys as you step into 2021 oh wait I'm doing my eyebrows right now and um just a disclaimer my eyebrows are very thick bushy they do what they want sometimes I can get to calm them down and talk to them other times they just don't want to listen so just just let it do its thing and let's just see how it works out okay i would definitely challenge you guys to just take a look back on this year and you know see what you can say about yourself in terms of how proud you are of yourself and the things that you were able to accomplish this year despite of and just what you learned about yourself and most importantly what you learned about god and just your relationship with him and um I would definitely say for this new year, I would encourage you to write down your visions, your plans, like in-depth details because it really lets you see by the end of the year how God is moving and what he has been able to do. And sometimes we don't really notice that because we're just trying to get through. But by the end of the year, we can kind of see where we have grown in. And it's always just so amazing difficult but amazing and um i would just definitely say if you haven't learned anything from this year i will encourage you to remember um one thing's for sure not to count yourself out and remember that you're still here right you're still here don't let fear stop you um don't let circumstances define you but remember that you're still here so count yourself in and push and you know keep trusting god and everything that you do and I would definitely just say that I'm really, really excited and that we're going to walk into the new year victorious. And um, I'm praying for just blessings and hope and love and restoration for you, for your family and for the nation in general. Um, so I thought what a better way to celebrate the new year by slapping on a pound of makeup. Back to the makeup. Here we go. <laughs> so I'm just going to finish blending that out. My eyebrows came out, you know, they came out okay. Um, I also didn't like that um, the concealer was kind of blending in my, with my face a lot. So I did end up going in with my NARS just to give it a little bit more brightening. I think it's shade medium in the caramel. I think that's it. And I just blended that also with the Rare Beauty um, concealer that I had for my other video. And next I'm going to go in with the contour from Juvia's Place. And that is in the shade Sokoto. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> and I'm just, I love it. Actually, it's not a contour stick. I'm lying. It's a foundation stick, but guys, it is so creamy, so dewy. Look how it, look how shiny my chin is. <laughs> it is so dewy, and it, it's actually really, really creamy. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And I'm just gonna blend everything all together, you know, put it all together, and make it look really nice and finished. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my concealer and sharpen my contour and then I'm going to set that 
concealer with the Too Faced medium setting powder and also set my under eyes with the airspun translucent powder that I got from Aaliyah J's video. I really like it. It actually really does a nice job and highlights my areas. And then I'm going to set around my mouth and use the True Complexion Black Radiance Contour Palette to just set my contour as well so you know it doesn't start moving everywhere. And then the only thing left with a contour is my mask. Ooh. <laughs> I'm trying to catch my voice with the... Oh, forget this. You know what? Let's just go to the next step, please. Oh, you guys. This is the palette that we're going to be using today. It is the Festival Palette by Juvia's Place. I was feeling fearless when I brought this palette, but I'm going to attempt... Okay. Uh attempt attempt to do a look with this palette because just just look look at that red that's the red i was gonna use and um i was just nervous because i haven't done an eyeshadow look with bold colors in such a long time but you got it you got it it's okay girl don't stress so I'm going to go in with this palette that I don't even know what it is, but one of my beautiful aunts gave it to me. And I'm just going to um, start using that brown color and um, blending out my outer edge and putting it into my crease so I can start, you know, building it up. Now I'm going to take an orange color that was in the Juvia's Place palette. I'm sorry I didn't show you guys. I, I don't know how I forgot that, but um, I'm just going to put it in my um, corner and I'm going to use it to just give the look more color and more depth and shadowing. And then I'm going to prep myself. You see I'm getting my music going to put that red color on my eyelid. And look, 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 look. Mm, ooh, watch. Ah, you see that pigment? You see that pigment? <laughs> <laughs> that is one thing that you cannot play with Juvia's Place pigmentation. I honestly feel like it is one of the most unmatchable um, pigmentation palettes out there. And um, I'm going, I, it was a lot, but I, I liked it and I'm going to work with it because we're serving you festival, okay? We're, we're getting it ready. So I'm just going to keep playing with it and I'm going to put some more brown in. I'm going to um, put it on my under eye and uh, that face. <laughs> It gets me every time. I feel like one of those characters from the Dr. Seuss movies. And now I'm just going to use that dark brown and also put that under my eye. And here I am contemplating if I want to do more if I should just leave it alone. And the old eyeshadow girl in me was like, do more. So I took that black color with the glitter in it and I just used my finger to kind of control and I um, put it on my outer corner and I started blending that out and then I started really contemplating like oh, more it's New Year's but like girl do you want to and it was also just like is that even still a thing like is that a thing like those whole glitter looks anymore everyone's like doing natural makeup now so but I was like you know just go for it so I ended up putting that white glitter um shade that was in the Juvia's Place powder and I put it on my eyelid and then I was like oh no this is too much so then I got the red and I started putting it back on top of the uh glitter and then I just kind of started mixing them together to see what I wanted my end result to be and it kind of made it turn purple but that's okay I still liked it in the end now I'm going to take that same red color from the Juvia's Place palette and use it as a blush and I'm going to blend it out so it looks nice with the eyeshadow and I figured for a little pop of color I'll just take that same white glitter color and just put it in my inner corner and I was not doing falsies I did not care you guys already know it's a hit or miss for me so definitely check out my other video to see how I make my eyelashes pop without falsies yay time for hair i know my shirt is just a whole mess i was getting makeup everywhere i was just it was just a mess going on behind the scenes um but i'm just gonna use that edge control with by sweetie and kiss i think it's a collab between those two and i'm going to do my edges the best way that i can and while they are setting i'm going to just finish my lips off i'm using like a red burgundy lip liner and just adding a pinky nyx in the middle and just using that to complete it to match with the rest of my look and then i'm just going to put in my two dark extensions <laughs> if you guys want to see in-depth um way that i do that definitely check out my last video that i put up with me straightening my hair for the first time but i put it on 300 something for heat and i'm just going to try to not curl it as much but just curl it going backwards to give my hair some more body and just place the extensions wherever I think they need to go to make it um, stand out a little bit. Okay so first of all 
first of all no 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 first of all <laughs> yes hello i was so proud of myself i was feeling myself on a whole nother level i think this look came out so so cute and i feel like it was the perfect balance what i was looking for this is how the eyeshadow also looks i like look at that go me i was scared for what scared for what um but that's not where it stops let's get into these outfits okay come on okay so this is a little bit ghetto i know <laughs> guys the footage did not come out right the background i wanted to have like a whole aesthetic for you guys but i just it, it, you know you work with what you got and so that's exactly what i did i'm still happy with you know the looks this is just a casual like okay i'm just gonna be hanging out with friends for the years here you go i really like this look i feel like it's a good combo comment down below what you guys think and for next if you want to just be a little dressy um it, it's two different blacks i don't know what is going on <laughs> i tried my best you guys but um i just put on a little black dress and i also paired it with some red boots just to kind of be festive make sure you guys comment down below what your favorite look is i already know what my favorite look is going to be and it is going to be this look right here okay that big comfy sweater taking out those hair extensions i'm not removing my makeup because i worked too hard to take it off so soon okay <laughs> but i just know like i said before 2020 has been a rough year for sure but definitely a reflective one and i just hope that whatever you're doing for the new year just be safe out there and have fun um and just be thankful for what you're able to do and what god was able to do in your life in this year alone right but for me girl okay i'm getting my martinelles martinelles <laughs> look, look at that you see how my family do me you see what they did why, why, why would they leave that who would leave that in the in the cup i'm gonna sip whatever i have left okay i'm gonna give a stink face to my dog because he was bothering me about this bread i'm gonna enjoy this little piece of bread because just like those curves that you saw they're not only gifted through genetics but they are bread fed so i will be getting a personal trainer this year so look out for that and talking through thursday will be beginning when we get back for the new year okay i love you guys so 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 much and happy new year bye guys